Hello everyone, welcome to my Let's Play. So let's play. We're gonna be playing, uh, we are at the Ark outskirts and our goal is to get inside the Ark. But before that, there are probably some enemies here we're gonna fight, and I say probably. Oh, hold up. Got two ghouls hiding over there. Think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others. Now, I actually know box that there. Opens. We go in the box. Box goes in the ark. We take their food, we take their guns. Mutants in the ark. Too many, too many. Mutants are weak. We kill some fast, we kill some slow. But we kill them all. Box is coming. If we kill them all. <laughs> Okay, they're very excited about this. They're like, we kill them fast, we can kill them slow. Well, we'll kill them fast and slow too. But before we do that, I want to kind of run around the area and we're going to kill them uh, in the end. So we get a stock Clara note. It's a crying shame with this to bar to Delta would have surely given us the discount she mentioned. Oh yeah, it's too bad we can't get a discount. So here's the deal. A working spark machine lies to the east of the Iron Serpent within the scrap ruins. This was one of those devices for burning things together or whatnot. But of course, there's no silver lining without a cloud above it. Them damn ghouls, people, who lurk in the ruins came out and chased us away before we could recover it. Next time, ghouls, we will get you good. Stalker Clara. Ooh, I want to meet Stalker Clara. She seems cool. She's probably dead. That's kind of how this whole thing works. If she's in the arc, she's dead. But, um, too bad so far. Ooh, we can get a snazzy visor. 25% added to weapon range. Military grade tactical visor used in the poker stealth conflict. Oh man. This stylish piece of gear reduces glare, granting its very range bonus. A poker stealth conflict? Ooh, but it, wouldn't it be a nice life if you would uh, deal with the life death situation by playing poker? I mean, you want to kill me? Uh, how about we just play some poker instead? Like, okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, do we want to get up top here and attack them from above? I mean, we could. Oh, we have a lonely marauder, so we're going to kill him using uh, ducks. And because he's alone, you don't have to worry about hiding. You're just going to move with ducks up here. Use the crossbow. Just be careful about doing it silently. That's all you care about. Nice. Now we have now managed to kill three people, so we can reuse our um, mutation, which is really really important. Now, if you're playing on a different difficulty, you might um, be able to use it a little bit quicker, but that's not the way for it. Okay, we have another lonely marauder over here. So we're going to do the same thing as before, attack him with ducks. Now the cool thing is that uh, our characters reload between combats automatically and you seem to have infinite ammo, so you don't have to worry about that, which I think is really cool. You only have to reload within combat, but you don't ever have to worry about running out of bullets and stuff, which I think is kind of nice because, yeah, probably wouldn't remember all that. Okay, let me uh, keep kind of running around just to kind of make sure that there are no more enemies because we need to kill those guys um, loudly. So you want to make sure that in the area you're not going to have uh, any other enemies because otherwise they will uh, run at you. So uh, every time you find like two enemies that are too close to each other and you know that you're going to have to kill them loudly, always run around the area first. Now like I said uh, in the previous episode, it's not always true that um, if you kill somebody that you will uh, alert loudly, that you will alert everybody else on the map, it actually... Uh, it, there's only like a certain area, but because you can't know what the area is, it's better to check out the whole thing. Okay, so we seem to have a, a locked area here. Let's try to get in. Okay, we can't. That's fine. Kind of hoping that it would spark some sort of conversation, but apparently not. So let's go to the arc. Let's kill those two boys over there. Let's just go at them. And again, we're going to be using the Skull Splitter on Dax to kill the one that has... Actually, yeah, yeah, we, we, because if you look at our weapons, we can only do damage of four and... Oh, we now have the Gaper, right? I forgot about that. So, okay, so now you don't even have to worry about using the Skull Splitter because you can just use the Gaper on Borman to kill the one that has six HP and then you can use the Crossbow or the Stinger for the other one. 
Let me also give our guys the... We're going to increase the weapon range on ducks. We'll give them the snazzy visor. I mean, he looks so cool with this. I mean, just look at him. He looks so good. And we're going to give Borman the stalker vest because Borman is the one who, like, you know, he does more damage. He's a bit more tanky, I would say. Uh, let me move ducks there and Borman to about... Um, Actually, we should move Borman here because Borman's going to be attacking the hunter. Split and up. then Dex will be attacking the hunter. So let's go. We'll attack. We'll start with Dex. Move him to somewhere where he has a 100% shot, like here. And he'll kill the butcher. Silently, still. Not that it matters at this point. But... So. I just I like to do things silently because as, as you move to further areas, it's going to be more and more important. So it's it's nice to like do as much silently as you can. You could, uh, yeah, as much as you can. Enough. You did good. Yeah, you did good, man. Okay. Ooh, weapon mod collected. Ancient sight, twenty percent added to weapon range. Iron sight from a war that predates the arc, old but sturdy, increases the range of whatever weapon it is mounted on. I like that. That is very cool. Okay, so we have seemed to killed everybody we needed, so let's just move towards the Ark. So that we Get can go home. Here. Girl, that's what we want, right? To go home. Let's get ourselves home. Okay, and we can just travel in. And the Ark is really cool, I like it. And we're moving up the elevator. <laughs> The Elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running. How to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. Mm. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before, but the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. I love the subtle storytelling in this, in the sense that Hammond has a cabin at a place where we haven't, as the stalkers, even gone to because it's like too far and too scary for us. I mean, that's like, wow. I mean, he's he's the man. I mean, think about that. It's like he has a cabin that he goes to, a place where we're too scared to go. Okay, so we're in the Ark and we have like multiple options here. So first we have the Iridia shop and this is where you can buy stuff for scrap. So let me show it to you. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. I love how he just changes from how she just changes from the anger to like ah, beautiful shopping. Now this is now I gotta admit there's not gonna be many things I'm gonna be buying here. Um, at least I haven't in in most of my like in my guide playthrough. Sometimes you wanna buy some grenades, but mostly it's not that necessary. However, there's a pretty fancy trick that uh, I wanna tell you some tricks within these episodes. So first trick is here. You can buy a weapon for scrap and then you can dismantle it for weapon parts, which means there is a way 
to exchange scrap for weapon parts, which I think is amazing because weapon parts are so so important in this game. Bye now. It's just it's just crazy. So next up we're gonna go to Crip's place. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high-quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Comprende. Okay. Now, here you can exchange your artifacts for something um, here. Now, uh, what's uh, there's <laughs> this. These artifacts are so uh, very, very good. Uh, I mean, the artifact skills, they will really change your game a lot. The one that's like the best is this ranger. Increases weapon damage by one for every single weapon. So you want to get to this as fast as you can. As you can see, you need to go to all, all of each level before that and in some levels you can choose now uh, tough guy extend the screw bleed out time by two turns this is actually good if you are gonna get hurt which we are not going to most likely because I mean if I can make a guide on how to every area perfectly we'll probably not get hurt too much so this is not a big deal for us same for the improves med kits by 3 HP we don't really care but the mule is very inter interesting unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member and Dealmaker is also nice if you're going to be buying a lot of stuff in a radio shop, but like I said, we aren't going to do that much. So we're going to get the meal. It's an age-old problem. Sometimes you just need an extra pair of hands, and you simply don't have the time to grow them yourself. <laughs> oh man, I want to grow with another pair of hands. Can you imagine walking around with four hands? That would not be fun, probably, at all. But like, wow. Hence, I present to you the fanny pack. According to Chronicles, this was used by elite warriors called Marians <laughs> to store spare grenades for the times when two isn't quite enough to get the job done in a clean and precise manner. So essentially we're buying a backpack. Okay. Backpack called a mule. Okay. Excelente. Okay. Next up we're gonna go to the Delta's Fix Pit and this is the place we're gonna be visiting the most. Wanna know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your sh gear. Any questions? Um, I guess not. You're not very friendly, so we're not gonna ask anything just in case. So we don't have enough weapon parts to upgrade anything, but uh, yeah, this is where you can pick weapon and you can upgrade them for a certain amount of um, weapon parts. But you can also attach uh, different modules to them. So you have a scope and damage module attachment. So we currently have one uh, scope attachment. This is the ancient side which add, adds uh, to our weapon range. So we're going to put this onto our crossbow so Dex can kill enemies from a little bit further. And we also have a damage model. This one adds world of 50 plus one additional critical damage and 50% chance to burn enemies. Burning enemies is really cool because you can do some damage to them every turn, which is really, really nice. So we're going to increase the crossbow. Uh, your silent weapons are, because the stud is so important in this game, silent weapons are one of the Take most important thing in this game. So we will definitely be focusing on silent weapons the most. But you want to focus on other weapons as well. And finally we can visit the Elder. The man who's My brave. home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit. And I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. I mean, come Farewell. on, he tells us a story. Remember your elder's guidance. I'm not going in the zone, like killing ghouls and nearly dying for him. And he's like, well, let me just tell you a story. Like, what? What kind of like deal is that, man? But I guess it is what it is. I mean, but I mean, come on, it's like, that's like, that's really gonna make me feel better after like nearly dying when killing multiple enemies, like, uh, let me just tell you a story. I just, I just wanna tell you a story. Thanks for <laughs> signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder, sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who wanna kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. 
Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman. Ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. Aww, this is kind of sweet. He's like, you know. Yeah, we don't have a happy ending, but I have you and you have me, and it's yeah, kind of cute. I like it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we have a zone dog here. Now, usually when you have one zone dog, you have another one. So before you attack this one, I actually like to know where the other one is, if that's possible. Um, can you just hide something else? Okay, apparently Dex is like, I'm not gonna hide. I I actually think the other zone dog is probably far enough. But uh, we're gonna have to kill them uh, loudly. So, oh, this is where the other zone dog is. So you want to make sure that they're not too close to each other when you're gonna be uh, killing them. So let's just kind of see. The, this one is here. Yeah, that one's moving away, so we should... Um, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe now we should be able to kill this one. Uh, not necessarily without alerting the other one, but at least without uh, making sure that the other one will be able to run towards you. So he's fairly... he's here. So if we move to about there, we should be far enough from him. So let's move uh, Borman first. And we're gonna be shooting this dog with his caper. Now this is gonna alert the other zone dog, which like I said is fine. But you gotta make sure that your people are gonna be far enough because the zone dog has to like run towards you to attack you, obviously, because he doesn't have like, weapons or stuff. Uh, you know what, I'm actually just gonna move uh, Dex here. He's only gonna have a 75% shot, but uh, the important thing is being far away from the other dog. Nice. Bye-bye. Now that was a good kill. Oh yeah, that was a great kill. Now let the zone dog run. See, he doesn't have enough of a range to get at you, so that's the only thing you want to be um, careful about with these zone dogs. Is just, you just gotta stand far enough, and then you can just shoot at him. Because he was nice enough to come towards us, so we can just like finish him out. And we'll do the same with Borman. Bullseye! <laughs> oh Not yeah, so bad. Bullseye. And this is how you kill him. Okay. Uh, no loot on Over them, here. which is all unfortunate, but that's okay. We got some stuff. Campsite, like hundreds of others across the zone, filled with the ghosts of humans who were foolish enough to try to survive out here. At least, that's what the Elder says. And here it is again, that's what the Elder said. I mean, doesn't that make you wonder? Like, you know, is he is he telling because everything they know, they know from the elder, and that's like that's always, you know, the thing. Like um uh, whoever survives tells the story. And I don't know if he is he a good guy, is he a bad guy? I really don't know. And and don't 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 tell me in the comments, at least not yet. Because I don't know, maybe maybe he did something bad and he's not telling us and we are all doing whatever he says because he's our leader. Ooh, what is this? Let me check this thing out. Hello. Wow, whoa, check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side, it's like a star. Mean here. what it's called. Can we run around it? Is there something fun here? Oh yeah, it's got some stuff over there. Let's check them out. Broken electronics, okay. Let me move through this area and then we're gonna move towards Hammond's cabin. And check out what kind of enemies we have there. But I want to make sure there's no one else around here. Ooh, we got some scrap. I like that. Okay, let's move towards the cabin now. It's time for a fight. So do any of you watch Battle Ball? And it's robot fighting time! Except we have no robots. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have a shaman and marauder. Shamans are interesting because shamans, they um, they can call for reinforcements. And you might be thinking, well, what does that mean? Are they going to call for some that's people it. on the map? Hammond's cabin. Let me guess. That's not Hammond inside. Him. Ghouls. It would be kind of easy if that was Hammond inside. Uh, they call reinforcements from like... Takes everything, but there are no secrets. Where are the secrets? 
The ones in the north will catch Hammond and squeeze the secrets from his head. Hammond will tell us what the junk is for. The junk is for us. All of it. Oh, where am I? Uh, what was I gonna say? Right, uh, the the shaman he calls for informants kind of like out of nowhere, so they're like they're gonna be new people appearing. So uh, that's why he has that little thingy on his back. You can see that. Now this marauder is moving back and forth. So all you gotta do is you gotta wait till he's out of range of all of his uh, friends. So currently he's out of range. So I can just use ducks to kill him, uh, which I can do now, for example. And I'm gonna move Dax to about there and just finish him off very, very nicely. Bye bye, Mr. Marauder. Your life and. Ah! Okay. Oh. Ah. oh my. I really like that. Did I mention that? Yeah, probably like a million times, right? Well, too bad. Okay, and next up, what we're gonna look at is whether we can get some nice mutations because we are currently at level 5. Which means we have three, uh, three points available on ducks, and we have five, four points available on boarmen. So what we're gonna get is, um, uh, yeah, we're gonna get take run and gun. This means that you can uh, sprint and then you can shoot, which is really really good. And look at the mutation. I mean, it's it's great. It looks so cool. I love it. And you know what? We're actually gonna do the fight in the next episode, so you have something to look forward to. So I see you in the next one. Bye bye!